the day we had with Rankin. It was really good because Rankin gave us a lot of uh, uh, freedom uh, and really respected uh, uh, our pro my project. I, I knew I could do, I could get to something really close to my heart. But at the same time, he took it to a different level. He totally got right away what was my what was close to my heart and what was my vision, but pushed it also. Then that's that's the ideal shoot. I wanted to be a hairdresser from an early age. I think around 15, 14, 15. Uh, even earlier, maybe. I used to live in Normandy, and uh, Mum uh, used to take us to to get a new pair of jeans or a new pair of t-shirts in a biggest, nearest town on a Saturday. But we always had to be quite patient and wait for her hair to be done because she was having also a hair appointment on the same time. Then just like hanging out around the salon, hanging out around the salon, and then seeing everything getting the smells and uh, yeah, I always kind of liked um, the, the, the atmosphere around the hair salon. And when I first started my first few jobs, I, 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 was, uh, I was a bit bored to work in the same place uh, every day, you know. Then, uh, yeah, I wanted to become a, a session head or so. I, I was kind of lucky through my training in Paris uh, um, it was kind of like, uh, there's a famous hairdresser in France called Alexandre, Alexandre de Paris, and I got a lot of my training from uh, all his techniques. And, and Mr. Alexandre was uh, the guy which did all the hair for Alfred Hitchcock, all the Alfred Hitchcock movies. He, he's, he's a bit of a legend. Then I, I moved to England because there was a little bit more of a punky vibe happening here. And, uh, and I, I uh, bump into Eugene Suleiman, uh, which uh, was uh, buying some product somewhere. And I recognized him and I said, I really like your work. I would like to maybe assist you or something. He said, oh, Fashion Week is in a couple of weeks time, come, come along. And then I guess I kind of proved myself and then ended up assisting him uh, on and off for, uh, for about four years nearly. The kids in our days are mixing a little bit of 80s. There's a lot of 80s do's in our now. But it's, it's, it's changed. There's always a, a little detail which makes it part of a era. On, only in 10 years time, I guess, we'll be able to see, oh yeah, that, that was 2012.